Hello everyone, my name is Sharun Shetty. I'm the technical lead for tracking and planning component of Rational Team Concert. Today I will be giving a quick demo of the program board feature in RTC. This feature is available as a technical preview in 606 release. Today's agenda covers an introduction to program board, its value proposition, who needs it, etc. The demo of the feature using a scenario where the program team is planning its program increment, showing that the board can be used in the context of any process template. Planning and program boards are visualizations used during PI planning at the program or team level. These visualizations reflect dependencies within a specific scope across programs or across teams. You can read more on these at the references shown on this slide at the Scaled Agile Framework website. In simple words, a program board covers program and team levels. It is used to identify features, milestones and dependencies within and across programs. The program board that RTC offers can be used in the context of any process template. The terminologies that you come across might appear to be safe specific, but you can interpret it with different artifacts in a non-safe process. For example, a program is nothing but team of teams outside the safe context. The program board provides the following key value proposition. It's actionable. You can change dependencies or target iterations. You can add or remove dependencies. It's flexible. You can scope to the level that you're interested in. For example, you can select any parent iteration and its immediate children. You can select the parent or child work item types that you're interested in. It's consumable. The data is based on real time. So who would benefit with a program board? As the picture shows, a number of roles benefit from it. We will go more in detail of each of these acts and scenes as we move further ahead in the demo. The board is typically used throughout the planning and execution process. Let me summarize the capabilities that we have in the tech preview offering of the program board. The board is supported at the program level, program increment with sprints. Program increment is a higher level iteration that is comprised of shorter iterations like sprints. Program increment and sprints are just the terminology used in SAFE and could represent anything, even a traditional phased approach. The content of the board relies on parent work item type with children established via the parent-child link and dependencies across the children established via the depends on blocks link. It provides the ability to visualize red, green and grey dependencies between two nodes. It provides the filtering of what work item types to include, what iterations to pick from. It provides the ability to take action you can add or remove dependency, you can change the plan for, you can change the owner. It also provides a simple hover. To open the program board, click plans and select program board technical preview. Note that if this is the first time you're configuring the board for this project, you're taken to the preference view. As I've mentioned earlier, the program board shows parent type work items that have one or more child type work items for all the parents that are planned for the parent iteration. Parent work items are displayed in the team area lanes in the child iteration box when the child work items are filed against that team area and planned for that child iteration. The board shows any dependencies between the child work items. So in the preferences view, you are allowed to select up to seven team areas. To show dependencies on the board, make a note that you have to map 
the team areas to the categories of the child work items. Iterations. So you need to select the parent iteration. This is the iteration that determines which parent work items are shown on the board. The current iteration on this project is PI4. So let me choose that. Child iterations. You can select up to seven iterations. The child work items planned for any of the selected iterations are available to show on the board. Note the board shows only one level of parent child iterations. Parent work item type. B depending upon what you choose here, that is the work item type that gets picked on the board. Let me pick the feature. Child work item type. So this is determ this determines the child work item types that is considered for the board. Let me pick story here. So this is how you would typically configure your board. Let us look at a scenario of preparing for the PI planning. So um, this is the uh, program board that is configured. There are two teams, mob mobile team and web team. The parent iteration is the uh, next PI, PI4. All the child iterations are selected and uh, including the backlog. The uh, parent work item type is the feature and the child work item type is the story. This is how the uh, program board looks like. The scope is set to PI4 the uh, parent work item type and the child work item type are shown here and uh, the first lane uh, shows uh, all the features that are planned for uh, the parent iteration we don't have any uh, features planned yet and um, uh, you also have a row for learning milestone if there are any learning milestones that are uh, planned for uh, the specific iterations in this um, board they get uh, shown on the corresponding uh, cell and then uh, the two, uh, two uh, teams that are selected and uh, the uh, if there are any child um, stories uh, corresponding to the team and the uh, sprint they get shown over here. So the first step is to identify features and milestones for the program. The program manager works with the team product owners to review the WSJF ranked features that are proposed for the next PI, PI4. They review the EPIC hypothesis statements and the acceptance criteria and then pick the uh, features that needs to be planned for uh, the next PI, PI4. This is how the program board looks like after this exercise. So it shows in the first row all the features that have been planned for the PI4. The features have uh, color dis distinguishes and you can look at the legend what this means. So the color blue stands for business feature and maroon stands for enabler feature. The enabler feature will require some design work and validation by stakeholders. So corresponding learning milestone work item or work items are created. The next step is to identify stories and tasks for the respective team. The product owner works with her, his or her development team to review the features and break them down into stories. They also artic articulate if there are any dependencies with stories owned by other teams. Breaking down the features into stories can be done in the quick planner view. Adding the uh, dependencies can be done directly in the program board. You can uh, click on uh, the feature, view story items. It shows the list of uh, child items for that particular feature. And you have an option over here to add dependencies. The program manager reconvenes the program members to review the results of the team planning breakout sessions. In case any of the dependencies cannot be mitigated, then uh, they create a risk work item if needed. This is how the board looks after the uh, team uh, planning sessions. Now the program is ready to execute. 
Watch ongoing changes that surface on the program board as a way of removing impediments to the delivery at the program level. Adjust plans as necessary or create risk work item types for the program. There are a couple of cool features on the board. You can um, um, highlight all the uh, dependency types like green, red, grey or you can choose what dependencies you want to see. For example, if you just want to see the red dependency, you can pick that. Or you, if you want to see just the green and red, then you can choose that. By default, all the three dependency colors are shown. The legend shows uh, the uh, uh, different types, as I have mentioned previously. It also, uh, if you have an external dependency on the board, for example, you have a dependency uh, uh, with a story which is outside uh, the program, then uh, those uh, items are shown in grey color. Uh, the uh, green color uh, dependency lines are ones which are um, at no risk uh, for delivery. The ones at red are ones which uh, are at risk for delivery. If there is a grey uh, dotted uh, line uh, shown as dependency, it indicates that uh, the risk cannot be determined because uh, the plan for uh, iteration does not have any end date set. When you hover on the dependency line, it uh, highlights the start to end of the dependency line. You can also um, edit the uh, dependent uh, items uh, open the uh, story dependencies and uh, here you can uh, edit uh, the associated work items. You can uh, change the owner or the uh, category or uh, the uh, target iteration. As mentioned earlier, the program board works in context of any process template used to create the project. Here is an example of a project which is created using the MTM sample. I've selected the teams that are available in the sample and a few iterations. The parent iteration is release one and few of its child iterations. Story is the parent work item type and task is the child work item type. To summarize, uh, the program board shows parent type work items that have one or more child type work items for all pa parents that are planned for the parent iteration established using the parent child link type. Parent work items are displayed in team area lanes in the child iteration box when the child work items are filed against that team area and planned for that child iteration. The board shows any dependencies between the child work items established using the depends on blocks link type. It can be used in the context of any process template used to create the project area. Currently, the limitation is you can have only one program board per project. Here are some of the um, enhancements that we are looking at for the next release. Uh, we want to improve the uh, flexibility, the usability, and also work on some of the enhanced features. So uh, this feature is available as a tech preview in 606. By default, 606 GA users will not see the program board technical preview menu option. The hidden server property to enable the program board is also not visible in the admin UI, so users will not accidentally find it. When the program board is disabled, if the user goes directly to the URL, then uh, informational message is uh, provided which uh, uh, gives the information to the user that the feature is not enabled. To enable the feature in the All Downloads tab under the Technical Preview section, there is an entry for RTC Program Board 
to download the instructions to enable the feature. The user needs to accept the technical preview license before they can download. See the following item for more details on the feature. To provide any feedback on the feature, add a comment in 349690. This is the uh, feature item that we are working on for the program board GA version or contact the SAFE team. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.